Joining me today is Graham Adley with Word on the Street. He's president of Word on the Street, and thanks for coming. Well, thanks for inviting me, Marian. Yes, it's always exciting to have that literary festival. And tell us what really is Word on the Street. Well, it's uh, it's been this is the sixth festival that's occurred in, in Saskatoon. Uh, it's a free festival for everybody, uh, and uh, it's part of a national Word on the Street, where uh, different cities across Canada in September invite authors and magazines magazines and uh, food trucks to come and have a celebrate literacy in the written word. And Saskatoon has joined that just recently, about six years ago, but this is a festival that's been going around for over a quarter century. Well, and it's a very important festival. And uh, tell me what your involvement is with Word on the Street. Well, I was minding my own business six years ago <laughs> and <laughs> Bob Calder and Jerry Hay uh, asked me if I'd like to join, on, join the board. And I love reading, I love literature, uh, I love rubbing shoulders with authors, and I thought, no, this would be a good thing to do. So I joined the board, and we've had many, many meetings over the years, and then two years ago uh, they asked if I'd continue as president, so I've been president of the board the last two years. So what's your job as president of the Word on the Street? Well, you know, it's uh, right in the... Uh, last few weeks of September is the fun part. Uh, you're able to uh, think about who's coming and, and be part of the festival and, and meet people like you know David Suzuki, uh, Norman Doidge, uh, Jan Martell, Alice Kuypers, Art Slade, you know local authors as well as uh, national authors from around the globe. Uh, but then the hard work starts in October <laughs> where you're starting from a blank slate again. Mm -hmm. And so you need volunteers, you need to chair meetings, you need to say, well, what kind of festival do we want to do this year? Mm -hmm. how, what, what's worked in the past and what didn't really work and, and how can we make it better each and every year? Mm -hmm. So this is uh, quite a prestigious festival because you have lots of uh, good Canadian authors. Mm -hmm. My understanding, it's a Canadian festival. Yep, we have people like this really Great author, Marian Natala. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, you've been to the festival several times. I and, have, I and have. been very popular. Uh -huh. uh, we've had people uh, like the the Greta and, and the Crazy Plates and Looney Spoons uh -huh. cookbooks. Uh, we've had uh, people from people I've known since children uh, that, uh -huh. that have come. Uh -huh. uh, we've got Literacy Lane and, and uh, a whole separate tent just for kids authors. And the interesting thing about David Suzuki, he's known as a worldwide uh, environmentalist, but he's here this year to talk about his grandchildren and all his children's books that he's written over the years. Mm -hmm. So that's a, it, that's exciting. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's it's uh, it's you get people here that just normally wouldn't wouldn't be here, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's part of the festival community in in Saskatoon. And that's wonderful. And why is it important to celebrate literacy and reading? And yeah, well, I mean, my degree is in English a long time ago. I grew up in northern Saskatchewan and one TV channel. We didn't have Shaw Cable back then. And uh, it, it was, you either watched CBC or else you read or mm -hmm. you did sports. Mm -hmm. And so I just loved reading and came to Saskatoon to go to university and, and took English. And uh, I realized that Saskatchewan and Saskatoon in particular has probably the highest per capita of really good authors than anywhere in the world. Uh, it's very similar to uh, the island of Ireland, mm -hmm. you know, uh, I, when I took uh, the class from Ron Markin many years ago, I, I learned how many wonderful authors came out of Ireland. Mm -hmm. Well, Saskatchewan is like a little Ireland. We mm -hmm. have some amazing, amazing authors that are homegrown or that have moved here because of the great writing community that's here. And that's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, I also wanted to point out that uh, my understanding is that most people uh, have more people that use the libraries and how important the library is than all across Canada. And, and Saskatchewan and Saskatoon in its right has a lot of library uh, users. Absolutely, and the Saskatoon Public Library has a, a new CEO, uh, Carol Cooley, I believe, mm -hmm. and uh, she's just shaking that library up and bringing it up to the 21st century and, and a brand new branch opening in Stonebridge in the next couple of months. Mm -hmm. 
that uh, Aaron will be running. And it, it's a, we have a wonderful partnership with the Saskatoon Public Library. Uh, they have a, a board member who serves on our board mm -hmm. and comes to each and every meetings. And we're, we're meeting in, in their libraries every second Tuesday of every month, uh, the remainder of the year. And uh, it's been a wonderful relationship with the library. And they've actually been able to contribute to uh, planning and uh, attracting authors and doing some programming for, especially for the young people. Uh, but yeah, the, 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 you go into any library in the city and, and uh, it's always full. There's always people there. Uh, there's always turning over books and, mm -hmm. and you go online and it's amazing the, the work that they do. Yes, and uh, reading to me is very important, and I always promote education and literacy and yeah. reading, and education is very easy to carry in your pocket. I tell all my students and former people out mm -hmm. there, so it's mm -hmm. a very good thing. So talk about how many board members there are, and I know your position is a volunteer position, so that's why you rock and why I wanted to have you on my show, because volunteerism yeah. is, is huge. Well, every year I've demanded that they uh, <laughs> double my salary, <laughs> And they've graciously agreed. Two times nothing is still nothing. <laughs> <laughs> but we, I have to be careful because whenever we attract new board members and I make the comment about I'd like to double my salary, they're like, I don't think we want to say <laughs> And I have to clarify that, no, yeah. we're, this is, you know, we actually contribute into the board, you know, mm -hmm. even if it's parking or we go for a meal or uh -huh. have, a, have a weekend meeting, that type of thing. Because every November we usually have a, a, a board retreat. Okay. Uh, currently we have 11 board members, uh -huh. which is the max. Uh, we started out with uh, eight or nine, depending mm -hmm. as people came and mm -hmm. went. Uh, there was a fair amount of turnover the first couple of years, but after after about two years, it, it sort of settled out, and each year someone would go off, and we would be able to recruit a new person. And uh, now we have an extremely strong board for you know fundraising is something that is important. Mm -hmm. We we the reason it's free is because we have sponsors and we have donors and we do fundraising. And we don't take any of that money that goes plowed back into, into the authors and, and the programming. Mm -hmm. So if anybody would like to make a donation, go to thewordonthestreet.ca and click the donate button. And so your website is? <laughs> the www.thewordonthestreet.ca. Uh, CA, and okay. then you can follow the links to Saskatoon. So how can people get involved then if they want to get involved? Well, uh, basically look at the website and see the kinds of opportunities that are there um, with depending on the time of the festival. Uh, when the festival is on, uh, you basically, we have a whole separate volunteer tent. So you get your own t-shirt uh, some years and, and uh, free lunches and that type of thing. And you can rub shoulders with some of your favorite authors and guide them to their tent and guide them to their signing. Because you, you can buy every book uh, for these authors at the festival. Okay. And then each author uh, is available for an hour to autograph each of the books. So That's if you'd wonderful. like to purchase a book mm -hmm. and you'd like to meet the author, uh, the wonderful. only thing stopping is some of them are very popular and it gets lined <laughs> up for a little longer. So I've you, experienced those lineups. Yes, yes, yes it yes. certainly is quite something. So. Uh -huh. Uh, but yeah, so those are the, those are the kind of things that uh, mm -hmm. you could do. Um, we also do surveys because we're always wanting to know what uh, what worked and what didn't, and mm -hmm. how we can improve it. So uh, if you don't feel like doing that, you can help set up and tear down and clean mm -hmm. up. But uh, we've had uh, volunteers in a way from a three-year-old who wanted to be a model, and so they took a picture, and, and he's now part of the, the festival promotion and. Uh, I got a phone call the other week from a 94-year-old oh, senior isn't citizen, that wonderful. And, and she wanted to volunteer okay. and has done it in the past. So she'll be signing in some of the authors into the into their lounge. So, so if you volunteer, you can rub noses with lots of authors and writers well, and all kinds I, of excitement. I think now I understand. We, we've had some complaints about you rubbing your noses, <laughs> Marion. <so. laughs> So yeah. you can rub their shoulders. Yeah, no, that's for sure. That's for sure. So tell us a little bit about the day and how it looks. Well, you know, it's just amazing. Uh, it's it's September. It's l later in September, so and it's a street festival. Only one of the stages is in the main library downtown. The rest are under tents on the street, and we actually close off the streets right by City Hall. Mm -hmm. So you're, uh, we have just been blessed with uh, great weather. Pretty much every year, it's been above 20 degrees and sunny and no no wind and 
this year is going to be the same. So mm -hmm. hopefully next year, knock on wood, well, it'll, yeah. it'll be the same as, as again. So. Yeah, it's amazing to have beautiful weather when uh, it's an outdoor festival, and that's it's, always important. But it's it's nice, and it and happens rain or shine. Yeah, it's it's rain or shine, uh, and and uh, if if the weather is good, uh, you'll be able to wander around and, and partake of the food trucks and we'll have some exhibitors that will be selling their wares and and uh, if you have children we have a pretty much city hall is taken over with with the kids performing and uh, you can get uh, meet authors that are famous and you get uh, there's teen advisory council through sage hill and and the public library so there'll be uh, brand new writers that that can be part of the uh, the program. So whoever you're looking for, we, we should have something for you. So how many volunteers are you looking at well, to put on this festival? You know, it's, uh, well, it's the uh, 12 of us, 11 of us throughout the year. Mm -hmm. And then leading up through the summer, uh, we actually hire a couple people that uh, help coordinate the volunteers. And, uh, you know, some years it's 20 years, 20 volunteers. Uh, more recently, it's been upwards of over a hundred volunteers. Oh my goodness! Uh, so many hands make light work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and this year, or the last couple of years, the board has been not had to do some of the work at the festival that uh, that they used to be, mm -hmm. have to do. We can actually now enjoy some of the festival and and uh, interact with the patrons and find out firsthand what what they like about it and and what we can do uh, uh, for for future years before. We were picking up paper and mm -hmm. you know stacking chairs, and we didn't really get to know um, much what was going on in the sure. festival. You work all yeah. year, and then you don't actually enjoy it. But mm -hmm. but the last few years, the board has been able to uh, enjoy the festival as well. Well, that's wonderful, yeah. and I really thank you for being on my show. And uh, can you just remind people where they can go to your website again? For yes, just if you want to Google it, the Word on the Street Saskatoon, or it's www the word on the street .ca. Well, this is a wonderful, and I know Saskatchewan and Saskatoon is one of the volunteer places mm -hmm. of Canada. So if you come on out and volunteer, and you can rock just like Graham here. Yeah. Thank you again. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. We'll be right back.